Hello, in this SDL video, we're going to show you how to set up and use SDL image library. In the previous video, we drew a BMP image using this sort of code that we've got right here. We loaded a BMP image, we created an image surface and a window surface, which was essentially the canvas that we were going to draw to. The problem with this built in method is it only loads BMPs. But luckily, you can easily set up and use the SDL image library that allows you to load in images such as TIFF, such as JPEG and PNG, the common formats, the formats that most of your images will be in. So to set this up, first of all, you want to open up a web browser, just Google SDL underscore image, go to the SDL image website, and you want to scroll down to to when you get to development libraries select vc visual c++ because this is a visual studio setup tutorial if you want to check out how to set it up on mac for the xcode environment feel free we've got a video covering that so once you've got this downloaded which i've already got it done you can close your web browser down don't need that anymore and what you want to do now is just open up your file explorer and in your file explorer you want to go to wherever you've downloaded your file so if you just right click this extract it and just wait for that to extract now that's it now that it's extracted in here we've got this sdl2 image folder which has all of our library stuff so if we go in here we've got an include folder which has a header file a lib folder which has the libraries for 32-bit and 64-bit you can go down the route of, let me show you, if I go to where I originally put my SDL folder, which was in development, SDL2, creating or copying over this folder here and linking that folder up for the libraries and the header files. But what I would say, because it's linked and it's related to SDL2 and it requires the SDL2 files, it'd be easier if you simply go to the include folder here and go to the include folder here, copy the header file over like so, go to the library folder, let me just close this down, go to x64, copy and paste all of this into the library file and this was for x64 and just paste it into here and finally do the same for x86 so copy this into the x86 folder like so and now all we need to do is just link up the sdl2 underscore image dot lib we don't need to include the folders or anything in our project we've already got the oh my bad we've already got the sdl2 folders linked up so if you go to your project right click go to properties if you go to visual c c++ general we've already got the sdl2 folder include there so we don't actually have to do anything here which is great and if we go to linker general we've already got the library file included so again we don't have to do anything all we have to do is add the additional dependency so click edit and you want to put sdl2 underscore image dot lib click ok apply ok and now we can start coding our application so first of all you need to include the sdl2 image header file so you want to do sdl underscore image dot h like so and if you scroll down what we need to first do is initialize sdl so we can use png so after i've initialized the window i'm going to do if inside here i'm going to initialize this so it's if the initialization process fails I'm, we will run this bit of code which will just show the error if image in it we pass in the type of image feature that we want which is img underscore init underscore png ampersand img underscore init png so this just allows us to initialize sdl image and if it fails for whatever reason we can just do std 
C out failed to initialize SDL underscore image for PNG files and we'll put the error as well. To do that, you just put IMG underscore get error like so and put a new line. And to actually load a image file, it's really easy. You can continue using the same code from the drawing a BMP tutorial. We, it's actually recommended that you do that one first because we have code from that video that we're just adapting. So remember, we've got an image surface, which is essentially our texture that we're gonna be drawing and loading. And instead of calling the SDL load BMP method, we call the IMG underscore load method like so. Scroll down and that's it. We still pass it into Blitz Surface or SDL render copy if you're doing it that way. The only one thing I would say is we need to actually use a another file format. You could still load BMP files using the image load, but it's the, defeats the purpose of this tutorial if we're using a BMP, even though we could have done that in the previous setup. So I've got a logo there called logo.png. This is a logo of our company, Sonar Systems. And if I go to the desktop where my project is, the file is right here. Make sure you've got some sort of PNG or JPEG file. And if we click run, what we'll get is an error. And you might be wondering, we're gonna get an error? Yes, we are. We're gonna get an error saying that the .dll file was missing. I just wanted you to see the error so you know how to fix it. If you come across it, you just need to copy and paste the .dll file from this folder that you copied over your library files to. If, it's, if you're doing it for x86, copy the x86 DL. If you're doing it for 64-bit, copy the 64-bit DLL. So if you go to sdl2 underscore image dot DLL, copy that, go to your project, and go to where your main.cpp file is, and where you also put the sdl2 dynamic link library, paste it into here. And now if we run it, okay, it's just same one thing. Ah, forgot, we don't just need the sdl2 image dot DLL, we need the DLLs for, let me open up the SDL folder in my development folder. We also need all of the other DLL files. So we need the Zlib, we've already copied the SDL2 image, and we need these lib ones as well for the different image formats. So if we paste it into here, run it now, and there you go. We've got now errors. It's loaded our PNG file, and it's drawn it the same way or in a very similar way that we drew the BMP file. So this is just a quick setup video on how to use the SDL image library on Windows for Visual Studio. We'll have other videos for stuff like Xcode as well and other environments, so feel free to check them out. If you wanna check out the source code, there'll be a link in the description to our GitHub page. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.